What else? <laughs> This is where Cliff Central is. Yeah. And we'll show you the big studio after this. I get some eye, but it's cool. Look at his cute. Do you know those whistles? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So you're from Atlanta? Yes. We are too. We're not goopy. Hey, this is bad. Tema can be that big, guys. Yeah, man. Yeah, people do things. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's not us. Yeah, I hate you. Is your husband also from Is he from his mama? What? Your husband? Yes. Okay. Then I can be who I feel like. That's, that's me. It shows that you're used to reading scripts. Must. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know he is. Mm. You will get it in like two seconds. You're like, how did you memorize that whole thing in like five seconds? Are you from where? Tornado. Mm. And then which school? I went to Gimani High. Mm, yellow and gold, eh? Mm. Okay. Mm. You guys used to have the best swimming Where did team. you go to school? Spice mm. girls are. Fra oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was worse. You guys were green, ne? Yes. You were green. Okay, they're not about a Haruni. Mm. And where did you go to college? Natal Technicon. Durban. Oh. Was there. Durban. She is smoking hot. <laughs> well, I know her since uh, you know uh, back in the days. I'm a Tolaka Sambashi. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't. I look at her like, yeah, oh, you, oh, you've grown. You know, <laughs> that's what I see when I see her. And her name is Gugulet. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be talking. We're gonna be talking with Gugulet, and I'm gonna tell you what exactly she does uh but if you want to catch the podcast to this uh you know you go to cliffcentral.com and you can listen to it but in the meantime i'm just going to start you off with one of her songs from um her album right it's an ep and uh enjoy it guys like it's it's really amazing and i think it's hot and it's called open heaven like i said <laughs> open heaven hot track Hot everything, and I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm gonna talk to our guest today, and Hello, there you are. I think be, those are just uh, what's it titles, but before I'm a mother, yeah, I'm a wife, mm -hmm. uh, and those are the things I think that yeah, make up daughter. preacher's daughter, <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, I'm a friend, I'm a colleague yeah. to many. And then those become the, the extent of who I am. Um, uh -huh. But first and foremost, responsibilities at home. Responsibilities. Yes. Let's take all of that away. Yes. You're a mother, you're a wife, you're a <laughs> preacher's daughter. What sure. is she like? What is, you know, let's talk about you. Mm. How would you define yourself? Sure, me. Outside of all those other things. Outside of all those other things, I think first and foremost, very a rebel i think yeah i've always been a, a activism of things that are norm i want to make them abnormal yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> but personally i think you know i've always said i'm a lover of god that's one yeah i'm a lover of god's word i'm also a lover of god's people so yeah. i love and people is not so much people that we've grown up with like yourself no yeah. but i'm very much interested and intrigued by people but over and above their crazy love of music yeah uh, a creator of note so i think and i see things in colors and in images and yeah in a nutshell that's me and then over and above is a marketing yeah. uh, you've already said marketing exec 
So for me, brands are my favorite thing. So even me sitting around here, there's things that I'm picking up. It's amazing. So already your mind is working. Already my mind is work, yeah. working in that creativity space. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and I, I consider myself very versatile. Um, I never get to a point where I think I know everything. I asked a friend. Yes, and a they friend. Said, yeah, a friend, a good oh friend. Oh my goodness. And they said you're an activist. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Activist for what? Activist for mostly for truth, um, mm -hmm. which I believe, you know, uh, it, one could say, what do you mean truth? Because yeah. truth differs yeah. from person I to person. Your truth could be my truth. Exactly. Yeah. But truth is something that we all long for because today there's so much clutter. Um, yeah. There's so much noises that are out there. So activist for, for that which is good, Gahi, so, yeah. you know, and the goodness... For all of us, it's not about whether you are of a certain religion or certain goodness is goodness. Yeah. So where I see injustice of people, trust me, I'm there. Where I see people been taking advantage of, I'm there. Some situations don't as Yes. Yeah, you're like, ah, why, why would you next door? I don't want to know that. Yes. Yeah, but you, 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 you would be that kind of person where if umganwa kwa yam chole, you'd be like. So yeah, so I've always, and I, that, that's always been from home, yeah. you know, where my parents have always, especially my mother, yeah. who always said, you know what, be the love of people, respect everyone, but never be afraid to challenge anyone. And when she said, this also includes me. Yeah. That set me free. Yeah. And I was like, yo, ma, then get ready then for, for, for whatever. I mean, I know where you come from, but when you say home. Yes. We are. I'm from the east, where yeah. the sun sets, people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so when you guys get the sun now, we already had it in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's number Yes, yeah. so grew up from Takane, mm -hmm. uh, Brakban, uh, mm -hmm. went to a primary school called Litsie, mm -hmm. went to, to so many schools, Khelex Dal, then into Springs Girls High, then yeah. I was from Guatema, that's where I ended up uh, finishing my high school years. Um, and yeah, East Rand, you know, as people know, it's like your case at end, it's full of Mm -mm. Creative people. Oh, okay. Ah, ah, yeah, so you ah. see, yeah, but you, you just like those. We have a spring. No, no, I think. Oh, yes, yeah. I think we know. For creative people come there. Big yeah. musicians, big sports people, authors. and I, authors as yeah. well. And I think it's a place where. You know, it's it's spoken down of yeah. because it's so far. It seems as if you need yeah. a visa or a passport. But um, Spring says, you know, it's always been that place. Of Have you ever felt like maybe, you know, people speak down, ga, ga, ga Springs, ga, 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 ga. maybe because the people that, that, that actually come out of there don't necessarily come out and say, we're a tema. We're not going to come to the zone, but mm. we're, we're yes. I mean, you know, there's the smoo. Um, uh, socks. Socks. Right? Skinny smoo. Yeah, skinny smoo. Yes, right, right, right. <laughs> but do you ever hear him say, yeah, I'm with Takane. I always see him posting. Yeah. And the way he'll take from Takane. Yeah. Um, but I think it's it's people when you don't know the East Rand. I've yeah. always said someone who who says Kiko Kole and yeah. but yeah, you know the place Yele Zinjungata Matrain. I'm like, dude, so where to any those houses that look like those? As you enter, as you enter, how people go Orlando Stadium now, Matrain. Yeah. 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 But for me, I've always been proud of that. Yeah. Um, one because of the rich history that we've got yeah. and. You know, when you don't know, you, you only could criticize what you don't know. So the minute we start talking about it, I've never been one to claim to be from anywhere else. I've studied there, but me, hey, my hood is Kotema Springs. Yeah, remember Pasolo Kozat? Yes. Right? How can I not? Who are you? Pas. Ow, <laughs> <laughs> he's really she of you. Africa. Oh, okay, all right. Let me just go further with this. Whitney Houston, uh, Mariah Carey. Uh, Whitney, for sure. Black Street or Back Street? Boys. Black Street. Ah, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> All right. Guys, if you just tuned in, we are hanging out. She's a marketing executive. She's an author. She's a musician. She's an activist. She's Basel. She's, <laughs> she's a Black Street. She's all of these things. And today we are talking about Black Tax. Mm -hmm. Like, how, how, how does Black Tax affect marriages or how does it affect relationships? Right? So send us your comments on my social media. It's at Kaksumudidi, Twitter, 
at Kaksumudutu on Instagram and we will read them out. But right now, I want to talk about your book. Let's get into it. Yes. Your book. Yes. The things she remembered. The things she remembered. I mean, I, I'm looking at the cover. Already, you are astray. I mean, I see, I see, I see bars. I see your face there. Your silhouette. Mm. Yeah, I could tell us. <laughs> <laughs> no, until until cool. the picture pops up on it. <laughs> Let's talk about this book. Yes. What inspired you? I mean, you moved from from corporate. Yes. Well, you didn't really move. No, I haven't moved. Right. Yes. So now you market on the side, mm. and then Kamor can do his thing. Yes. Talk to us. So I think the the book, you know, there's things that we go to school for, mm -hmm. uh, and I think I went to school to be a marketer. Right. Um, but there's things that you're born with. Yeah. I like your show where you're saying unleashed. Yeah. A gift is something that is unleashed. Mm -hmm. You don't learn it. It's something that you do. And writing for me has always been there from a very yeah. young age, you know, loving of books, you know, writing stories. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, you know, also coming from a, like a Christian background, yeah. I've tried Kahiso, to write spiritual books yeah. and I couldn't. Okay. Like, you know, try to, to, to read on vision, you know, destiny, all these yeah. books that we see of famous uh, authors. Mm -hmm. But for me, I had that gift of being able, give me a story. I could yeah. just go, give me characters. And to a point where I would hear voices, see people yeah. I've never been. And didn't mean for you must go to class, I mean. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, hey. Ah, you know, it's like you, you hear bang, voices. Bang, 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 no, in you na pam guenzo ukoko uti ya uya kujana. Yeah, so you you not there. Yeah. No, <laughs> so the 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 writing has always been there. Mm -hmm. So um, the book itself, I mean, it's a novel fiction based, right. um, but with a moral story at the end of self forgiveness and of self restoration, mm -hmm. and it it looks at a, a very young girl who goes through a trial. So what I've tried to do over the years was also. The book is based on the different locations I've been to. So uh -huh. me traveling, you know, Europe or Asia and yeah. South Africa. Yeah. And there's, as we were traveling, I learned that there's more that makes us one as opposed to what separates us. People, we're so similar. Yeah. You yeah. know, it, we might differ in the language. So the book takes that. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's of a young girl who goes through a very traumatic time of growing up in a loving home. And they love God, but she didn't believe that you know what there's yeah. a god somewhere that yeah. that exists and for the first time she sees herself going through a very traumatic where she sees a friend of hers in high school you know committing suicide mm. and eventually you know not to to pick the gems of but it's yeah. someone that goes through those those struggles but and the aim of it is to look at the different trials that we each go through yeah but why it's called the thing she remembered because at the end of the trial once she's grown up she gets to commit murder through being in marriage, uh, through an abusive uh, husband. Yeah. And she, yeah. uh, like yeah. literally, and she wakes up, she doesn't remember. And what it does it say is that a lot of us, we go through certain things, not because we had a choice. Yeah. Certain things get done unto us. Yeah. You know, it's like someone who says, someone who's been abused, in a, and you're a, a, a child, you're a teenager. That person doesn't have so much of a choice. If they could, they would just leave everything and run. I want to ask you something. Yes. <laughs> Do you believe in this thing already, you know, someone can commit an act, I don't want to call it a crime, mm. an act, and, and, then, and then they're like, I don't remember. It's possible. I don't want to, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. but we Yeah, I think, but we <laughs> I mean, I, I stand to be correct, because, I mean, that's a psychological, but that happens where a person, you know, literally in their memory, yeah. when the pain was so painful or that the, the only thing that you could do you want to numb it yeah you know what i mean and and i think also it's just filters at times you know sometimes you see what you see as they say perception it's sometimes re it's not always reality yeah based on what you see so in her case i mean she she was literally battered the night uh, before yeah and then in self-defense yeah she wakes up you know, the dude is next to her she's also wounded she doesn't remember what happened what happened what happened you know and with that through trying to remember so with her is that she has to remember even quite a lot of what yeah. she went through so back to what you said it, it just depends um on the I've, I've heard of people not remembering i've never been in those situations yeah. where i did something so that badly that mm -hmm. But I think that the pain can cause one to, to be at that place. 
you know, a pain. Sometimes people, we want to make our own reality. So it's easier to just forget, you know, pretend as if that thing is not there. Because when you face it, it is so difficult. You yeah. would rather say, you know, I don't want to remember. So in her, the book so is... So we, we, we might just want to, you know, block it off. You want to block, block it, it off. Little, exactly. Yeah. I mean, we've heard of situations where even at a young age, people get, you know, abused. Mm -hmm. But it takes something in their adulthood to trigger that yes. memory, yes. you know, and a person, we've heard of, you know, someone you're like, but is that deja vu or what? It seems like I've seen this before. Yeah. Because our memories, you know, even the subconscious mind, it takes I mean, I've seen a case where, I mean, you know, you probably know about it and mm. we're not going to mention it on radio, but it was a case where, you know, um, a, a woman killed her kids, her two kids. Yes. Yes, and you, you look at the, the stem of it, it was that severe pain. Yeah. Because if you think about it, who would do that? Would but do if that? you're not in those shoes of that pain, yeah. you know, the saying is saying, don't judge what you don't know. Because pain can literally take you an anger mm. from zero to a thousand percent. Yeah. Where literally a person you knew is like, but. She was so loving. She's Thank sweet. God. Yeah. So what could it's have the same happened? Same as those things where we like suicide. I've yes. never heard of a suicide story where they're like, this person was depressed. They yes. always say, oh, it's nice. He was laughing. You know, everything was cool. And yeah. But you see, that's what even pain does because it makes you form things that are not there. You know, to say, look, let me rather smile through the pain and also the shame. You know, I mean, yeah. we live in times where speaking around depression, speaking around wanting to commit suicide, yeah. you're probably thinking, people will think I'm a nuthead. Yeah. Whereas that is the situation. And I think it's not even for those people who are in pain. It's for those who are around them to say, pay attention. When a person starts, you know, doing things out of the norm, saying things, you know, yeah. or keeps saying, oh, you're seeing a person withdraw. Yeah. You should care enough to say, you know what, what's up, you know? Who should buy this book? That book... Um, you're looking from uh, a 16-year-old mm -hmm. to your young adult, 37. And Male, then, female? It's not biased to women right. at all. Yeah. You know, and I've been asked that question because when I write, I write from outside in. Yeah. So it's mostly by the things that I, I see around me. Mm -hmm. And those happen to everyone. And guys do read. Guys, it's, <laughs> who said yeah. guys, they don't read stories? Guys read. Guys read. Guys so, go through pain? Yes. Guys go through shame? Yes. I mean, and, and, and we are... Brought up as boys yes. to think about you, depression, yes. then you know, nijais. yes. So it's written for everyone because in the book you find different characters. You yeah. find the grandmother, you find the mother, you find the friend, you find and this is fictional, right? And this is fictional. This is fictional, uh, but probably with some a bit of truth there, yeah. Not personally myself, but okay. of I was, I was about to ask, what is, is there a bit of you in there? Because uh, you said, or you know, after traveling. Yes, world, you yes. Know, to, you know, it was it was some of your personal experiences in here, or you traveled the world and you saw... Experience. Yeah, experiences, yes. There's a character that I identify with. Her name is Kanya. She's the best friend to the girl. Yeah. She's very spunky, bold. And I, I see myself as that. You know, I'm, I've always said in the friendship, which side am I? I'm the yeah. loud f fight for you. <laughs> <Wap -up>. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm so spunky. I'm so wap -up. So it's aimed for everyone and yeah. black and white. It's not a for, for black people. It's not for, in, it's for everyone. If yeah. you, you, you know of the tragedies that we face, whether it's abuse, it's, it's suicide, it's depression, it's someone you know who's committed murder. Yeah. That is a book. It's a nice book to read with your friends. It's a nice book for a book club. It's a nice book. If you're an elderly, you want to take holidays it's are coming nice up. It's a nice conversation starter. It's a nice conversation. And yeah. it talks about sensitive issues. Yeah. Because I think, you know, as I said, being a Christian, you don't want to come very biased as if, you know, just, there's only yeah. one way. Yeah. And maybe uh, that's why, you know, you couldn't write about... Uh, yes. About the, you know, like the Christi Christian yes. books. Because Cause problems, then, they don't choose. Mm -mm. Guess what? If you surprise... Um, it's, it's, a, um, Zalane, it's um, the same. Hindu, it's yeah, the same. Issues are issues. When you've got a t problematic teenager or you've just experienced death, it's the same. So I always say meet people at your point of departure. So when I write, I write from that perspective to say, where would I like to, to meet my my readers from at their point of departure? I was like, a point of departure. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Tina, we are sailing already. <laughs> we are sailing. I mean, this is very interesting for me. Yeah. We hang out in Kukule too. You know, and yeah. she's 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 amazing. And uh, do you know what I want to do? She's she's an author. She's you know she's a musician. And and I mean, obviously, um, you you you've got a soundtrack to your book. I've got a soundtrack. I mean, I've to heard the of book. a soundtrack to a movie. Yes. In, in Maranao, give them a soundtrack to a book. Yes. So I want to play this song. It's called One Fight. One Fight. And I know I want to talk about it when we come back, right? Cool. How's that? Yes. Yes. Zava zava. It's your hair. It's your hair. Kukulej, mm. Kukulej, eh? Yes. Like, do you know how to say your surname, your name in French? To her book, yes. Mm. A soundtrack to her book, and it's called One Fight. Mm. Let's, now you, you're singing as well. You're creative, right? Yes. You know, I've always said, wake me up at true, ask yeah. me for a note, I'll give it to you. Ask me for a marketing that strategy. Just, that just sounded like something that yes, Buddha. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like it's boo. I mean, I'm on phone who's on my note. Like you know, you know, as guys we talk, you know, we like I. When I'm on phone who's on my note, me now I'm going to meeting. I'm on my two. Yeah, <laughs> and I bang the notes. Yeah, yeah. But ask me for marketing straight. I'll probably have to think about it. And yeah. singing for me comes naturally. It comes naturally because of you know I grew up in a house that was full of music. I yeah. mean, my dad was an LP collector. Ah. Um, my mom loves singing. We don't have singers that I mean became professional, but yeah. music was it was just always around. Was you. always around me, and you know whether you're singing to Brock Benton or the yeah. old days or Aretha Nobody Franklin or Donny, you know what I mean. You were cheating. And oh, you, you always yes. think you the singer, then you yeah. start, you know, hitting the notes. It's like nah, <laughs> like nah, yeah. 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 so ah. choirs. Is that your music selection, like Brock Benton? Brock Benton. <laughs> Brock Benton was what? bad. Broke Benton, Benton, guys. Broke was Benton. the man. Because my grandmother used to play. You know, I know all the, the songs. I know all Benton. the songs. Yeah, yes. all the songs. With that deep. Yeah, la 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 la. You see, people are confused. Oh, I'll tell you. Glenn Lewis loves Broke Benton. Broke Benton, and I think that was the music around. Yeah. I mean, also from the Donny Hathaway, which I love, because he was a serious creative to a point where dude went cuckoos. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So music, yeah, it's something. I, but also, it's not just the music for me. Uh-huh. It's the journey behind writing. I think I enjoy the writing yeah. more than the singing. Mm-hmm. And taking words. And these words, they just become a sound. Yeah. They become arrangements. Yeah. And you start adding the, you know, the juices of it. And bam, there yeah. it is. It's a number one. It's a number Or even if it doesn't end up on radio, I always say the fact that you can hear other people singing what started as words or mm-hmm. as a mm-hmm. as a simple rhythm or a note. So I enjoy the the, the 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 journey behind the writing. How do you feel about? I mean, as a creative, yeah. right? Uh, people always get judged. Yeah. Uh, where this person's an actress, yeah. and then now they have a single out, yeah. and then Gamo, you know, you you in corporate, mm. Gamo, you doing this, Gamo, you doing that. How do you how do you feel about people saying no man maybe you should just stick to this I think you know given that and do you think it's possible that someone can it's be possible. all of that It's possible Yeah also given that you'll die one day and So sh- yeah, remind us, why shouldn't you, you <laughs> unleash what yeah. you, what's in you and yeah. you know I don't want to preach preach but, girl okay preach <laughs> But there's a story in the Bible that says that there was a, a master who left and to to his servants, he left gifts, basically. He yeah. left, and to one, he left one. To another, two. Yeah. To another, five. Yeah. So there's people who've got five. But mm-hmm. it do- doesn't mean just because they didn't mention more than five, they aren't. So there are yeah. people who... And certain things you learn as yeah. well. So is it fair to box a person into one? I don't think no. so. As I said, there's things that you learn, and there's things that you're naturally gifted on. Yeah. So for a person who's got all of them, you know, the triple T's and the... Yeah allow that space obviously they will never be probably good at everything they will yeah. probably love it but there are people really that are so i always say that you know um i never like to box myself no there are no boxes there aren't there are no boxes, there are no boxes. just go out there and live because you have one life yes. to just try life. everything you've got one life and it's, it's it's sad because 
you know when you're saying how many elderly people they're like you know mm. like my mother mm. now that i'm elderly it's too late because yeah. so i think even our children you have to encourage that if you see your child is gifted in sports yeah. then at school and now fly. and now we can afford Yes. Now we can afford. And things are easier. Yeah. Mean, online, you know. Little loan. Little. I stand alone. Uh, no, I'm saying. <laughs> yes. Go and get a loan. But not fees must fall. Come on. No, go get a loan. If you if your kid is 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 yes. brilliant in in ballet or whatever, yes. go get a loan. So it's possible. I mean, I I strongly believe myself to be one of those people. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know if is it a rare breed or what or just being too. No. You are creative. You are creative yeah. and you are allowing yourself I to do. learn every day and you open to life. I do. Right? Because some people they're like, okay, so if I'm Christian then I'm gonna follow this. Mm. Or if I'm this then I'm gonna follow that. Mm. But when are you just an open person? Mm. Because you, you, you're not born you're not born Christian first, you're born human. Yeah. With things that you, you come bestowed on mm-hmm. you. So the fact that you, you choose certain routes doesn't mean, mean that you that know, should die. Yeah. You know, it's like someone saying, you know, can Christians write such books? Yes, well, they Christians can. can. Yes, can. Let's talk about marketing. Yes. I want to go back to that. Yes. Mm. What's up, Zagai? <laughs> you are not never give away company. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but what do you do on a daily? If, if you're not being creative like this. Sure. When you are creative in the, in the marketing yes. space. Yeah. So I'm forever in boardroom mm. meetings. I'm forever strategizing. I'm forever... I always say I take business ventures, yeah. turn it into profitable um, areas. Yeah. You know, because for every business to exist, it must make money. Yeah. So that's been uh, my my role. I've worked with big brands from you know ICT, yeah, top two uh, ICT companies, uh, top three banks. You yeah. know, I'm in engineering now. It's a different space altogether. Mm-hmm. So uh, we, it's still male dominated, yeah. and so it's it's every day. That's 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 what I do. Yeah, I I come up with solutions that that see the company to push through through against the. Do you find that you're being listened to? I mean, I hear you say male dominated, stressing on the male dominated. Do you find that as a woman in that space, especially when you're saying engineering, are you being listened to? I think the listening it comes through the work. Yeah, because what I find that. You, it's not about working twice as much, but having respect for what you do. Because yeah. when you, you do, the minute you put it in front of everyone, guess what? Yeah. People can't help but listen. Yeah. You know, I once had a mentor who said, make sure that when you're in the boardroom, you speak over people's heads. Yeah. You mustn't understand what you're saying. Yeah. Because guess what? They'll <laughs> yeah. come back and say, you Fourteen. said something. Yeah. What were you, know, you can saying? Can you explain it? Yeah. I mean, you still find those areas where one yeah. day you just feel like, like oh, no one is listening to me here. Yeah. yeah. So I've learned to, to, to choose my battles because yeah. um, obviously there's things you can't change. Being female, being black, it is what it is, especially in our country. Yeah. But where there is a need to, to demand for, for, for to be heard and you definitely you, yeah. be able. This is amazing. We're hanging out no kukule tunkut. And uh, yeah, hey, you're cool, sis, and I like her. I like her because she's, you know, she speaks her mind. And, and I mean, I look at her, I'm like, yeah, hey, you're my, you're my daughter, isn't it? You're my daughter, isn't it? It's just yeah, these kind of wrong models. You know what I mean? I was slay queen. Hey, yeah. Hey, that one. Yeah. I mean, I find my daughter now pouting when she's doing herself. Yeah. Away. But pouting is good. <laughs> Nothing wrong with pouting. I don't gag about <laughs> When we come back, we are talking about. Black tax, and I want to I wanna hear what your opinion is on that, yeah. Rana Cook, because now you're married to Buddha. Uh, <laughs> I want to hear what, what, what your opinion is. Send us your comments on uh, Edgar Somudupi on Twitter, Edgar Somudupi. Show is called Unleashed on cliffcentral.com. Don't forget to get the podcast on cliffcentral.com, and we are hanging out no Kukule, and we are talking about black tax. Juju la toi, Mkuta. Married to Sbusiso. Because <laughs> wish so. Yeah. 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 End that way. Yeah. How long you been married? Yeah, since two thousand nine. But I've known him since ninety-seven. You should know. No, no. I'm like, it's not just me here. There's also listeners. I'm going around. How long? Hey, you one of those? Two thousand nine. Yeah. Two thousand nine. Me now. Yeah. 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 Is it still romantic? No. <laughs> Thank you. If you have to go, <clears throat> it's not. Buddha. 
a couple came, Dan. A couple came, my son. I am trying to chat. Buddha, a couple came. Umam, what's it? Mamma Shama, no two o'clock when I need Tololo. No flower, no nothing. No, ah, Buddha. You enjoy married life? I am. Yeah. I am. I mm-hmm. think marriage is a beautiful thing. Yeah. And it's doable. Yeah. As long as just don't complicate it. Yeah. Come hundred percent. Yeah. And him hundred percent. I always say in marriage there's no fifty fifty. There's was no like, such. It's hundred percent. It's hundred hundred. Hundred. Yeah. Now that's where the problem comes in. Yes. Black tax. Because black tax there's there's gray areas when it comes to that. Hundred mm. percent. I mean, we all have different backgrounds, right? Yes. And we've got different uh, about siblings. Kona umalume, konuban, konuban. We come with our background. How? What? What's your take on this black tax in marriage? What do you think? I think where if if there's open communication, mm-hmm. because I think you've said it. You coined it black tax. Mm. I'm not sure why didn't you go white tax. I guess it's not. That's what they they call it black tax. <laughs> And, I, and do you think it's only black people that go through it? No. I think we talk about it a lot. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's so tough when you've got yeah. 13 siblings behind you. Yeah. No Mahua is just one. It's like, no, it's my sister. Yes. When it's like, it's my it's sisters like my and brother. brothers. Yeah. You know, I just said I can't. I just thought I'd give it to her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I think in a marriage, girls, there is... That's so dumb, though. <laughs> No, let's not, baby, let's not buy a two-seater. We have to buy a uh, ikumbi. Yeah, I mean. Because I'm yeah. my bears. Yeah, no, my And then we do that. Even when we buy houses, yeah. we're like, no, remember you need the, the room. Baba Vagash. Right? Yeah, Baba Vagash. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But it's, it's within us. Um, and I think to, to, to forsake responsibility mm-hmm. just because you now got married, it would be injustice. Yeah. You know, because when you've grown up in a loving home and people, they've, not invested, yeah. but they've given so much of themselves in you, whether through finances and so. To get you where you are. Yes. So that somebody can say, I want to take yes. this person as my person. Yes. Right. And I don't think it's black text per se. I think it's just gratitude. You know, if you look at it that way, if you yeah. look at it from a point of you are giving back, expecting that it will come back in yeah. a different way. But where it becomes an issue is where there's a demand on the other side. Mm. I think I've seen where you know, people are always expectant. They yeah. even know with how Kafi wa ko like at twenty five and yeah. the next thing yeah. my old lady how all the time. Yeah. You know, and now you can't now even enjoy what you guys are supposed to build <laughs> because Le Mali yeah. Lefane share with five yeah, ways, you know? Yeah. And the guilt trip that comes with it. Yeah. Where now if when you don't do something for for the other side, yeah, it's an issue. Or sometimes you find that it's extreme. Yeah. We do things a lot for the Nkutas, but we don't do much for Havarangkuta. Like, what yeah. happened to my family? Yeah. You know, so... But maybe your family, when we don't have to do anything for them. I get it, they're fine. I mean, when you met with me, you knew, for okay, I'm putting my sister through school, and mm. maybe my mother has a different struggle than your mother. You know, maybe your mother, and you know, she's sorted out. You know, obviously, with, with, with black people, yeah. uh, there's different classes who were teachers, right? Yes. And... And I feel like when they were teachers and they were nurses, you know, they were kind of exposed mm. to go uh, retirement. Yes. So when your mom was sorted, yeah. like a whole standard yeah. bank. So, I mean, <laughs> but going back, I always go back yeah. to those principles where when you get married, yeah. I mean, we all you know when you take those vows, it says that Ubani, Baba will, 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 a man will, will leave. leave. Yeah. And cleave to yeah. the cleaving it means it's separation, mm-hmm. you know, and the it's separation in every way, yeah. you know, the finances, you must get your own stuff, your own children, and yeah. so. But because and of, that's why when you get married, but later on, bad. yes, Omosha. but of the gratitude that we, you know, you always think you have to do something. I think yeah. it's worse when you are living the life that you want as a married couple, but yeah. it's, it's not. Sharp, yeah. But it's also worse when you are compromising the marriage, mm-hmm. you know, even the happiness, because one of you cannot say no, you know. Yeah. And those are things, as I believe, as couples, even whether startup or, you know, divorcees, they get married together. Yeah. Put those things in Sasuga. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like you would talk about everything else, to say, look, nah, there's my sister who... I'm taking to school. Now, yeah. old lady, 
you know, I top her up because yeah. Imali, uh, it's yaga, not grand is yeah. not enough. Or look, babe, from time to time, I was taught at home to do the following. And right. you give the other person a chance to also comment. Oof. Let's get real here. Yeah. I am open and I say all these things, yes. right? Yes. But at the end of the day, you, you spoke about when there's an expectancy now. Mm. And how do you then draw the line? I think firm, firmness, tough love is... Yeah. Yes. You know? Yes. And that's what I used to do. Or I used to buy the meat at home. Yes. Right? Yes. How do, how do you then draw the line when, 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 you, when my mom calls out? I think it's sad when the expectation has been built that high. Yeah. To a point where, where now who started it, you can't even go back yeah. and say, you know, ma, things have changed. Mm -hmm. And... Again, I don't want to sound biased, but it's mostly guys. Yeah, guys, you guys have got an issue. You yeah. know, a man and his and his mother is yeah. like, "Yo, don't touch my mother." Yeah. and you know, Mako you know, demands, "Yes, yes no, yes, don't yes. do that." Yeah. So it's important to also teach your own parents mm -hmm. to say because had the tables been turned, you know, I always say, if your mom were to go through that, yeah you know she wouldn't. Yeah. But in this case, because the tables are turned, we ha and sometimes is we have to go together as one, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Because some, it's especially when you're married, not when, not when you're girlfriend and boyfriend, when yeah. you're married, tackle everything together as one. Yeah. So even when you go and t you're telling your mother, it shouldn't be asthma, pela ish uku uku ut. No, it should yeah. be a matter of saying, we're here to talk to you. Yeah. The following, we thinking, so that it's a unity of 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 that. Yeah, it's it's quite tricky because then you you know you always want you don't want your you want your mother and and your wife to get along, mm. right? And and sometimes you feel I need to go and talk to her, Mina, Mina, you know, without you because it, and I don't want it to come across as a, as you are here now and you're influencing me, and my mother and I cannot voice out what she wants to voice because now you are here. But my my question is, why should it differ? When you're going to talk, to see your mother, let's say she's sick. Yeah. Or there's something at home. You right. go together. Yeah. But why when it comes to black text, it must be separated? Because we know even money. Yeah. I mean, money, sex. Yeah. Uh, those are the things that in couples and marriages, they cause havoc. Yes. So with that, it's a matter of, so even if you say, babes, Oscar, we were just la la la. Yeah. You know? So, so Nami, in everything that we do, we must discuss it. I mean, you, you must mentioned discuss all these it. So, n when I go to your mom, whenever you mama mama, uku kya mind, ula na. Question: Would you do that? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I mean, we have to go together, the mom, uku kuna. But you know, when you look at it, ah, shy am No, but yeah. also, what what is the point of of people being married? Yeah. You know, we always say, you know, Gasset, Kotewa, yeah. when you get married, your parents mm. become, become your wife. Parents your wife's parents and yeah. vice versa. Yeah. So it's a matter of saying whatever your mom actually wanted to ask. Yeah. Guess she what? Go and ask my wife. Because then yeah. it will get exposed. But we've lost those values. We've lost those values. But who said? No, we have. Because I feel like we're not, we're not, we're not passing them down. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, this whole thing when we, when you get married, they mm. always tell you growing mm. up because Nangu mama akuma, mm. nangu umaba akuma, yes, you know? Yes. But when you have issues, you yes. will always find that Mina, I'll go ekaya, now where you go gini, mm. do you know? Mm. And and because we, 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 we have lost the, the understanding mm. of it, why was that yes. the case? Yes, But I it's think, these little yeah, things here, right? but you find that it's a soft spot because you know when now you go high, they'll listen to you, even if you know you were wrong, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So, but I think, it starts also with parents. You know, yeah. I look at my, my mother specifically. Mm -hmm. she, she, she'll she tell me, you know what? Please ask boo. Yeah. Because... But not all mothers are like your mother. And your children are not going to marry into families where you know, they're going to find their in-laws like your mother. That's true. How do we then preserve those values? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I know we, we, we spoke about it earlier. Yeah. 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 Does this mean that, you know, we need to understand our culture? Because our culture now, Leona, it is gone. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, there were certain reasons why mm. certain things were said. Mm. But I feel like, you know, and not, not being, you know, sexist here, but with feminist groups, some of the mm. things that they've taken and they've literally yeah. blown it out of proportion, yeah. like Lindon and you beggars there. For them, they've taken it as, oh, you must be punished. Yeah. That's not what it meant. No, it's not what. So I think... You know, we always the signs are always there. Mm -hmm. 
you do see it through your dating times. Mm. You you can see if your your wife, example, very close to the dad. Yeah. You're like, hey, more than that, when I'm king, I'll always be compared. Yeah. You know, or vice versa. Like, mm. hey, Kaki is very close to to the mother, and and you have to respect that because you don't know. I mean, yeah. someone oh who does oh who does it in Kabutada. You know, there'll always be that bond, and I always say you will never take it away, but you can never make your wife. Your mother, mm-hmm. that much we know, mm-hmm. you know, and when you start saying such things, yeah, out home piano. So, and it, we know, we know, we're for one or five, but <laughs> you see, and uh, Rona now it's different because sometimes we go out and we, you have to understand, but also, we never <laughs> also talk about yeah. what what type of a home do you want to build? Yeah, it's good and well to take principles from your home, yes, great. If if your mom used to wake up at five and there was a benefit from everyone. Mm-hmm. You know, you could say eight years in for you to be early, babes. I'm seventeen. Maybe you should take. Maru mama bega di Now we could give it. Like why friends are really same age. Baby boy, I'm on eleven. Hi, it's Saturday. We go beyond five. Oh mama, yeah. But I like what you're saying is that couples are not talking. Anymore. It's it's always mm-hmm. always got boils down to talking mm-hmm. because through the eye you see, yeah. Through the emotions you feel, yeah. Through the ears you hear, yeah. But through the mouth we always become mute. It's a problem. It's a problem because you're always thinking, but a home is built on those challenges. The more you break those yeah. things and as you grow, guess what? The better it becomes. But black text, as said, it should not be an obligation. And I think it's sad sometimes when you find divorce couples. Because of black text. Because the source was an in-law. Yeah. I think it's always sad because it's something that's so painful. Do you think that maybe... <clears throat> I mean, if, if, if I say I'm marrying you, yeah. we, I'm marrying your entire family mm. and what it comes with. Mm. Do you think that maybe sometimes we kind of need to compromise and be like, okay, mm. we must always just have like mm. sh- sh- is, is it okay for us to, to say let's compromise that? Not if it, I don't believe it's if it's at expense of your own happiness. Yeah. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. Guys. And I don't think even them Nabomalume, would adhere to that if they were put in those in those yeah, same shoes. Wouldn't. You know what I mean? And I think boundaries are very important. So how do we address Bound- it? boundaries do we address are it? important? Because I'm strict, ne? Like yeah. like Fonso will tell you, yeah. I'm I'm that strict. Yeah. And I'll be like, no, uh, Malume, uh, and like if we clear it now, yeah. you're not here during the week yeah. helping out yeah. and the first thing you want is alcohol. Yes. You know, I am I am that person, right? And and I see my family cringing and mm. in, in, you know, but but what do you do? How do you address it? Maybe now I'm wrong. No, be I straightforward. Think, be straightforward. I think you you teach people how they always say what you teach people how to treat you, yeah. or else they assume that this is the norm. You know, it's like people that always ca- that rock up family unannounced. Yeah. I see la eh eh. The city seat. And you're like, no. One day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I two days. Hey, oh, yeah. oh, he has Next thing, people are alone. I mean, I mean, things will check out. Yes, but we don't want to bad. Imagine if I walk up with a pool. You know, we're yeah. thinking, see, let's go. Because you, you have to respect. But people, sometimes they don't know. You'd yeah. be amazed that even in-laws, yeah. even families, but yeah. for them, it's norm. Up until someone says, no, until you it's on. Hey, right. it's on. And they were like, oh, Okay, Tina, we thought you were fine all Askies. along. Askies. Yeah. See, guess what? Even the mother-in-law, she'd mm. be like, no, but okay, so long, I end, I end, and even uh, his first salary. Yeah, he, he used to. Yeah. yeah, so I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say So other things, as, as I, was, I was telling you, marriage is beautiful, but you, we complicate it through Yeah. Yeah. You know, because yeah. of, no, you're getting married to the family. Yes, good yes. and well. Mm-hmm. But you're building your own. But you see, that's what I'm saying. It comes from how we were brought up. And mm. unfortunately, we're not brought up in, in the same way. Yeah. Right? Because, I mean, I believe, Wuti, look, for me and my wife, I always say, mm. if there's an issue at Kaya, t- tell me mm. and I'll sort it out. Yes. Right? And and I also foresee mm. an issue if we ever. Yeah. Like this whole I mean, black tax is not just about money. Mm-mm. This whole thing, Eabo, Makoti, and Zeli tea, yes. mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And then she made the tea. Mm. And and only because, you know, and that Rakhari was like, Ooh, I, I see, I, I, 
why won't get an album about Papa Wenzel? You know, like I, I must fight for her, yeah. and she cringes. Mm. Me, no, 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 no. When I tool her, me, na, I must mm. fight because me, I'm their kid, mm. and they'll never be mm. uh, that mad. Mm. Mm. But I always, I also find, you know, my okay, sweet, but this is what my mother used to say. Yeah. For the but to basile, 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 but to basile, and you and about tools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo, about tools, and the minute you and I you timid, yeah. you don't know. She will make it. What can you do? Yeah. You know, now as yeah. if you know it all cookies will crumble. Yeah. And but in some cultures it's worse. Mm. So, you mm. know, there's some cultures where Kukotiza literally ma 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 shut to your jail or blindly gwenza gala so mashonella u kakiso mele. So you can't say but that and that's where the feminist people came and said, No, stuff this. Because mm. of the cutters. And then Lubana by there they just went. By there they went, but because of the, the cultural differences. Mm. And just sorting yes. things out. Rebe trend. But because of marriage it's not different. You'd mm. be amazed how as I was saying that you we are all so similar. Yeah. Even white people there's things that they they go through. You're like, yo, that's like I thought I was the only one mm-hmm. black. Even Indians. Ah, even... Mahua Mahua don't go through when your parents die they become a baby. <laughs> Mahua, when your parents die, you become a racist. <laughs> no, white people are nice. Fun. Cooks. Yes. It's nice hanging out with you. Oh, it's been lovely. Guys. Yeah, one or one or hour just goes fast. I'm Already. Looking at, I'm looking at the time. I'm like, yeah, look at Vanessa, that. Vanessa, thank God it's me. See back on your Just say now. Let's go now. Vanessa is an enemy of time. Listen, where do we find you? You find me on. I almost said at home. <laughs> Gave out my address. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm on kukuletrungota.com. Yeah. My website. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook. Yeah. I'm also on Instagram. Um, I'm learning Snapchat these days <laughs> through right. my daughter. Like a shop. Yeah. 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 I'm learning so that people can find me there. Even the books, they yeah. they're available already. Uh, online. Wait, wait, let's sell them. Ebooks. Right. Ebooks. Uh, ebooks. Kindle, yeah. Amazon, the CD itself, all digital platforms. Nice. If you're one of those that love the physical, smell the book, touch yeah, the music, yeah. you're welcome to inbox me using uh, connect at yeah. kukuletungota.com. Okay. And then we deliver within uh, Gauteng for free, yeah. outside of Gauteng, yeah, and yeah. then there's a, there's a courier yeah, charge. Sure. But yeah, everything available. Is the book doing well? The book is doing well. Yeah. Funny enough, I started... Uh, stimulating the market myself, I think, because I'm a marketer, so I knew that yeah. nothing takes off until you, you, yeah. you, you do it. You can't you wait it. for someone to sponsor you and all sorts. So the first batch went like cookies because I started talking about it, doing videos, and friends and family started seeing yeah. like, where did you write a book? And when? it's easy for them because you, you know, you yeah, marketing, you, you know, and them. I believe in direct marketing more than yeah. anything. Before the TVs, the radios, direct yeah. marketing sells wholeheartedly. So yeah, it's it's gone. We're going through the second batch now. So yeah. already, hundred and twenty books are out there. Nice. Yes, and I'm then, gonna post it on my social media. Oh. And I'm gonna post the CD on my social media. Yeah. Yeah. Go out and get it. The book is called The Things yeah. She Remembers. It'll be available also in stores in a couple of weeks. We're busy with Bona. distribution. This book is already available. I'll push it. Oh wait. Oh yeah. Which stores? It will be Bagan P and A and yeah. also Kum Books. Kum Books it will go together with the with, with the, the with the CD. With the CD. All right. Yes. Good it. We should show letter. Ah, Mojo Mazui. Yes. Mojo was the book. It was nice having you. Oh, it was lovely. Anytime, drop in if there's anything you wanna push. And I think we should call you again so that we can talk, you know, in more into detail yes. about the book. I don't want to give much away. Mm. Uh, but yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was nice having you. Yeah. You know, the show is called Unleashed with myself, Katsumuruku. You can catch me every Wednesday from 3 to 4 p.m. on mm. cliffcentral.com. And you can catch the podcast as well on cliffcentral.com. And you know what I always say if it's not Wednesday, it is Wednesday. Oh! <laughs> it's our day, witness. Witness. Oh! Nazo. Uh-uh. Go get your mind.